am I excited for this workout today? Um, I'm out here in this gorgeous Kansas City weather and um, I'm on one of my favorite trails I love to cycle on. It's over off the Missouri Riverfront and uh, it's going down today right out here on this trail. So uh, you will need a pair of hand weights for this workout. You'll also need some water handy and a towel. We'll get your energy up and let's get ready to move. All right, I hope you are ready to put the work down. We're gonna get started with the warm up. Remember I said you will need a light pair of hand weights. I've got mine here on the side. Actually, and when we get into the actual exercise, you may not wanna use the hand weights and I'll instruct from there, all right? So let's start with the light jog and get ourselves going in this warm up. So, ah, I got some air under your feet and we're going. We're in it now. No turning back, <laughs> we're in the warm up. Keep your feet moving, jogging it out. So the purpose of the warm up is to get our body ready for this physical activity. We got a serious cardio, metabolic workout, I would say, a little cardio and strength. Keep those feet moving. You know, another thing about the warm up that I love is it is also mental preparation for the work ahead. So you should be getting in sync, hyping yourself up, getting excited for the work. Keep jogging through. We got a few more seconds in this jog and then we're gonna come to a jumping jack. Hang in. Last three here, two jumping jacks, let's go. You're doing great. Staying in those jacks. We do want your heart rate up in the warm up. Four more jacks. Very good. Keep your feet moving here. We're stretching out your chest and back. Good, so your fingertips are spread apart. Palms facing forward. Elbows are soft. Stretching out the chest. Three more seconds. And time. All right, here we go. We're taking a toe touch next. Straddle your feet wide. Arms in a T position. Take it down right to left. All these don't have to be real fast. The beauty of dynamic stretching, stretching with movement. Now your breath should be labored in this warm up. Sometimes we think the warm up we shouldn't be breathing hard, and we should get us ready for the work. Aiming forehead to knee, exhale on your way down, stretch out the hamstrings and lower back. We got 10 more seconds in the toe touch. I really need to limber. One more touch. Very good, now keep your feet wide here. Move yourself into a lateral lunge right. Sit your hips back, keep your chest up. Static side lunge, just hold on to it. Shift your weight. Yes, right over to the other side. Keep your chest up. Push your hip way back. Stretch. Let's shift again. See if you can find yourself getting a little deeper with each shift. And we're shifting again. All right, now let's come center and hold. Yeah, big sumo squat here. Just your footing if you need to. Keep that bum low, elbows at your knees. Breathe through the stretch. Keeping your chest up. All right, chin on your chest. Round your spine and you're rolling up. Very good. Our warm up is complete. And we're getting ready into our, our first exercise. We only have three exercises in this workout today. However, we'll run through them twice, all right? So our first exercise is going to be 
a leap to burpee and a 180 jump to get back to the other side. Follow me, you'll get this. Get my pad set up here, and we're gonna go for it. You're gonna take a leap forward, take as much space as you can take, leap out, hit a burpee, 180, and take it back to the other side. All right? So plant your weight down into a squat position. One leap forward, let's go. Take it down to a burpee, bring it up, 180. Again. Stay with it. So you want to stay low in that squat. Turn it in play. Leap. We're almost there. Whoa, it's a balance challenge as well. One more. And you're up. Ha, ah, such good work. All right, here we go. Then your heart rate come down. Exercise number two. We're gonna take an inchworm two push up. Let's get ready for it. You're gonna keep your feet about hip width apart. You're gonna walk it down. Full plank, push up, walk it back. Here we go. Walk in the back. So, you want to try to keep your legs as straight as possible with these. As you come back. Now, some of you may have to bend your knees a little bit here to get down. And that's okay. And you'll just walk it on out. But hit that plank and the push up, back up. All right, are you still in this good work with me? <laughs> Let's go for it. Taking it back. And remember to come back tall. Take it back down. Lots of reps today, we can do it. We're going two more. Stay strong. All the way back up. Our last one, we can do it. What about it? You did it and you're not as dirty as I am because you're at home. How about that? All right, grab your hand weights now. We're getting ready for our next exercise. Serious work going down. <laughs> we have a reverse lunge that we're gonna alternate on the lunge back. And we're also gonna take static weights overhead. We can do this work. All right, so tall with your weights overhead. Let's go for the lunge. So do your best to keep those weights tall. Arms are straight, lunging it back. So some of you at home, now this is where I said you don't have to go with the weights. You can have your arms straight up over your head without weights. Stand with it, make sure your back is tall, spine is straight, shoulders working hard here, especially after those inchworms. Hanging in, four more, three, two to go, one, such good work. The weights go down. All right, now those were the three exercises. Now I told you we we're gonna do it again, right? So catch your breath. We're going back into the leap to burpee to 180. It's like three exercises in one. It can't get any sweeter than that. This is good work. Let's get ready for it. All right, this next round, I need you to give me more energy. We're going into it. Leap forward, 
burpee to 180. And let's go for it. We're gonna work to get more reps in on this time around. Stay with it. How's that leap going? <laughs> Make sure you're breathing here. Three, 
making your way through the stretch. All right, left leg leads in front on your heel. Sit your hips back, feel the stretch right down the back of your leg. And release the stretch. All right, come on, let's get the quad stretched. Testing your balance at the end, right? How dare I do this? <laughs> Hang on to a wall or something if you need to. Very good. Other side, you wanna grab here. Ankle, calf, right? Keep your heel away from your bottom and stretch the front of your thigh, which is your quad muscle. And release. Take a huge inhale up with me. Reach for the ceiling. And exhale here. You're gonna take one more huge inhale. Relax those shoulders as you lift and stretch to the ceiling. Exhale and release. Such good work today. So, so proud of your hard work. Join me next week. See ya.